the Agile Toolkit. So, hi, I'm your host, Bob Payne, and I am here with uh, Andrew Annett and uh, Ellen Grove. Uh, we did this session yesterday, and I didn't have the audio on, so <laughs> we're redoing it. Maybe, maybe the Minor second time problem. will be better. Um, and you guys uh, did a session, uh, well, at least you did a session at the Games Day, and I believe you're going to be participating in a session later this afternoon, right? With the, uh, sure. With, so. with uh, um, you're one of the many LEGO teams here. Um, or Canadian Team Lego, I guess we'll refer to you guys as. <laughs> team Lego, go! <laughs> um, and we were talking um, uh, last night at dinner and, and, and the afternoon before about serious play and, um, and its use in organizations or with groups. Uh, you mentioned retrospectives um, and a number of other things. So let's, let's talk about that again. Do we need to say what serious play is? I, I think sure. so. Yeah, sure. There are a lot of uh, I'll take a stab at is. that. Um, I think play is really important because play is an adaptive behavior. Animals play, people play, people of all ages play, and it's a way that we learn to develop relationships with each other, to solve problems, to find create, to stimulate creative ideas, and to have fun, which is mm -hmm. something that's really kind of nice to do at work. Um, serious play is a way of taking playful approaches and applying them to getting work done. Mm -hmm. Not just playing together as a team for the sake of, you know, what team we call building. team yeah, building, yeah, yeah. but actually taking playful approaches to doing things. Building the team. Like build, building the team up, building <laughs> a stronger team, or coming up with new ideas, new ideas for a product, or new ideas about how to work together, or doing strategic visioning for, for a for an individual, what do I want to be doing? For a team, for an organization, what's what's our vision? How can we build a strategic plan? You can use playful techniques to do that. Mm -hmm. Lego Serious Play, which is what we've been doing here, is uh, an open source technology that has been developed by Lego mm -hmm. that applies uh, applies some some theory, underpinning theory about right. how people learn and how people create ideas together, and it's a systematic approach to doing work together, getting results, getting ideas out on the table so that you can have important conversations to make plans or solve problems, mm -hmm. doing this using Lego as a means to have the conversation. Yeah, um, and, and one of the things that has always been true is, is at the Agile Conference is somebody inevitably brings Lego, so it's, <laughs> well, it's, it's a universal fun toy. It's a good scene into uh, our people that we work with. Right. Um, but the problem that, that it really addresses is some people have difficulty expressing ideas or uh, feelings about ideas, and Lego provides a way for them to think with their hands and build a representation of what it is they're thinking. Mm -hmm. So they can build, and they can attach some meaning to what it is they're building, mm -hmm. and then they can tell a story about what that meaning is, all in really short periods of time. So, so it's very structured play, but it allows a wide range of investigation and, and discussion. And it's hard for some people. It's very hard. It is great means for, for people who maybe aren't as uh, comfortable expressing themselves verbally mm -hmm. for whatever reason, mm -hmm. to, to, to get information out of their head and onto the table to share with people. Even for people who do like to talk though, it's also a way of extracting different information. Because sometimes when we sit down to talk about a problem that we've been through before, we have a script going already. Mm -hmm. I say this, you say this, and we have the same conversation again and again. <laughs> but <laughs> This is the second time we've done this too, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when you introduce this playful yeah. element, these blocks and the kinesthetic element of something that you're manipulating with your hands and you have these funny shapes, you have the bright colors, you have little flowers and animals and stuff like that, sometimes that gets different ideas to the forefront mm -hmm. because you reframe your idea or you pick up on a different piece of the idea and suddenly that becomes the focus of the conversation that you're having. So you can generate new ideas or new perspectives on old conversations mm -hmm. using this technique. So it's a really powerful way to promote dialogue between two people rather than mutual monologue. Yeah. Right. Because there's something 
common to focus on. So you can right. ask people about the model that they've built. Right. And they're not necessarily sitting there advocating their own position or thinking mm -hmm. of a clever response to a particular question. It's like, what does that mean? Yeah, and, and it, um, it externalizes the, uh, the sort of emotional model. I know, and I don't know if this is, uh, I only know this from television, so I don't know whether it's actually true. Um, but the, the idea that for children who have somehow been in a bad situation, they'll sometimes uh, do storytelling with a doll. At least I saw this on some show. I assume yeah. it, is a, it, it, is a, it is a technique. It makes perfect sense to me that it would be if it's not. But um, uh. Interestingly enough, Jackie Lloyd-Smith, who is the certified Lego series play trainer in this mm -hmm. part of the woods, um, in her past life was an art therapist with okay. kids who were in different sorts of troubled situations. Yes, yeah, so art therapy. An extension definitely. of that approach yeah. where you have people. It's not always about a problem, though, uh -huh. right? This can be a really powerful tool for coming up with new ideas, with yeah. developing a shared, a shared plan or a shared vision. But it's the same approach to let's abstract it a little bit from the way we conventionally mm -hmm. express these ideas. And let's create a different way to articulate what we're talking about mm -hmm. and to see how all the pieces of our idea fit together. And that's one of the things that's really, uh, I'm going to overuse the word magic, about creating a 3D model. Yeah, and you, you were, um, I, I think you are also talking about uh, this idea of uh, creating an organizational model, so taking the personal model Oh, and over several days, integrating it into an organizational model with connections and sort of, you know, here's where the information gets channeled and here are the players and then how could we restructure it. So uh, One of the beauties of Lego is that it's, you can turn it into anything that you want. So you can represent such a wide variety of circumstances mm -hmm. and situations and relationships, all with these very simple pieces that don't require a lot of training to, mm -hmm. to manipulate. And by... One of, the, one of the benefits I see all the time is that we're so focused on making things simple and, uh, and digestible in documents and mm -hmm. in, in the way we, we talk. But when you build one of these big models with all of these pieces, it's a mess. <laughs> and, and people can see yeah. the complexity and the interactivity of all of these little elements that they've individually constructed very quickly and simply, but when you connect them all together, it's, wow, this is beyond complicated. Yeah, this, this, this is complex. This is complex, and this right. has a lot of moving pieces, and this, oh, wow, yeah. And you can use these big models to see how <coughs> it might react to circumstances. Mm -hmm. So once you've built uh, a representation of your team, your organization, your situation, whatever it is, then you can start to run scenarios. Mm -hmm. Say, well, what... What would happen in this world if this circumstance arose? <laughs> and you can physically bust things up. <laughs> or amplify them. It yeah. becomes and a very dynamic and real <laughs> experiential thing. Yeah. Yes. Have you had people uh, just do the whole Godzilla thing? Stepping? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet, but part of that is because it is such a visceral reaction. Right. When you build a shared model and you run a scenario through it and parts of it fall apart as mm -hmm. the result of an action of one actor in the scene, right? You, you move this group of stakeholders farther away and suddenly one of your pillars uh, that support your organization falls over. Everybody mm -hmm. goes, oh, what would that be like in real life? Yeah. There's this sense of you really sort of feel the, the immediacy of, wow, what if that happened? That's a pretty catastrophic result. What, what, how would that look like in real life, and what mm -hmm. would we want to do about it? Because this feels bad enough. We don't want to encounter that. Right. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing set of uh, circumstances that comes together. Good. When a group of people build something together, and then they're forced to look at the consequences of changes to that mm. thing, to really become yeah. attached to it. Yeah. Um, how can people get started with, uh, how can I get started with uh, serious play? Well, it is an open source technology from mm -hmm. Lego, so you can go to seriousplay.com and you can download a facilitation guide. If you're, if you're already a facilitator who, uh, because there's a lot of group dynamics involved. Sure. It's, it's very, it's it's like Scrum. There's just a couple of simple things that you do, right? And just add people. Um, so 
you can download the facilitation guide, which uh -huh. gives instructions. It gives you a foundational right. understanding. This is what LEGO Series Play is about. This is how the pieces fit together. And is there um, an obvious progression, is or is it just how much... How, how many Legos you can amass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there, is a, a, there is a progression, and Lego, for its mm -hmm. part of uh -huh. the deal, has assembled specific um, collections of pieces yeah. that are, are widely varied and allow people lots of opportunity to build many, many different things. They're not standard uh, sort of Lego offerings, mm -hmm. but they are available to anybody now. It used to be a right. closed shop, but now they've opened. Anybody can order Serious Play Kits from Anybody, Lego. Great. Anybody can order Serious Play Kits. You can download the facilitation guide from SeriousPlay.com. Mm -hmm. There's a new book out this year by Per Christensen and Robert Rasmussen that's called Building a Better, Better Business, Business okay. using Legos. Lego Serious Play. Okay. Um, there yeah. are a couple of certified instructors in North America. I've already given Jackie a free plug. Uh, but mm -hmm. if you really want to go off and take the official training. Okay. Um, but I would. I also encourage people to try it. Try it with your team. Don't maybe yeah. try developing an organizational vision on your first day, but sit down with your team and use this technique to do a retrospective, to have a conversation with each other about what, you know, what do we want to do differently, what are we doing well, and uh, see what kind of insights it brings onto the table that didn't come out through the other methods that you're using to do a retrospective or to have a team conversation. So there's such a wide variety of things that you can do with this, and <clears throat> so right now I'm talking to uh, people about how to use LEGO Series Play in interviews. Right. Yeah. So, as a means to get people to relax a little bit and tell us more about themselves and their aspirations. Yeah, because one of the things it does too, it's playful. You're having these right. serious conversations about important things. There's a lot of shared laughter in the room, though. It's 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 fun. Mm -hmm. You can be talking about some pretty major stuff that we have to sort this out now, but we're doing it in a way that we're having a good laugh about it together. Usually, I've seen some awesome things built out of Lego. <laughs> <laughs> does get scary. Yeah. <laughs> good. Uh, you can get a hold of me, uh, Twitter handle, at AKN, or... Oh. Or you can get a hold of me, um, my Twitter handle is EE Grove, or you can reach me at egrove at agilepartnership.com, and I'm happy to share information. Great. Well, thanks so much for coming in uh, again, and I, I appreciate your uh, time. It's so hard to get us to talk about Lego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Won't get us to shut up once we get going. Right. Good. Thank you. Bye.